right, so let's play, I think this will be um, our last random games, and then we're going to hit up uh, Kindman Remedy, because I definitely want to complete that. So let's try Crow Scare. I don't know if it's fully scary. It's got scare in the name, so we'll do it. Game takes one and one and a half hours to complete. There are two bad endings and one good true ending. It is a short horror game. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. This game contains themes and depictions of the following. Blood and gore, implied child abuse, extreme violence toward child characters, implied potential child death. Discretion is advised. Space and continue. You've been warned. Yes. I think that's all I need you to do right now. Oh, oh she's pretty. Pick out the biggest pumpkins in the southeast patch. Chase away all the birds and check on Haley. After that, come talk to me again and figure out what to do next. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna do, Dad? Dad? Mm, I'm gonna sit here and rest. I have to save my energy for the Harvest Festival after all. Come on, you can't even spare a little magic for me? Just this once? Sorry, Rio. You know I have to save my energy. I spent all, it all helping with the farm and have none left for the Harvest Festival. But you're my little champion. You can handle it, right? Unless... Huh? No, yeah. I am the champion. I can totally do it. I've done it before. You can count on me, Dad. I'll do it lightning fast. Faster than you can cast any of your spells. <laughs> I thought so. If you need any help remembering what to do, just come back and ask me. Or, you know, you could write it down in that journal I got you. I haven't seen you use it since I gave it to you. Why would I write it down when I have you right here? Alright, alright, fair. Either way, I'll be waiting right here. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be moving very far, but I'll get it done now. Good boy, I have another chore for you after, so don't forget to come back to me once you're done. Got it! Okay, scaring the birds. Arrow keys, space, or enter, X to open the menu. Okay. Hello? Do we mess with her? Oh no, Haley! Have the birds been picking out all your straw again? Don't worry, I'll fix you up. Better. Oh, Haley, you're not very good. Scarecrow, are you? Hmm. What else do I have to do? Haley smiles warmly at you. Is Haley alive? So what, are we messing with the crops too, or no? Tiny pumpkin, not ready to be picked yet. I know we have to scare birds away. Birdies, get out of here. Get out of my property. Rah, gotcha. Oh, it's capture them. Boop. You don't scare me, kid. Whoa, you can talk? Yeah, what about it? Oh, nothing. I mean, I've met plenty of talking birds before. I just... Why are you hanging around my farm acting all shady? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Look, kid. I'm trying to help you. Something bad is coming. Huh? What is? Looking forward to the Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, why? Someone wants to ruin it for you. Worse than you can imagine. But I think if you're careful, you can make sure it turns out okay. Uh, Alright. Why are you telling me this, though? Because kids like you are the ones who need better a better understanding of dangerous situations. True. But hell, even some adults can't recognize that some birds are too big to scare. You're just a little bird. Shut up! <laughs> but keep your eye out, kid. Stay away from the forest, alright? Hopefully this is the only time we'll need to speak. So be careful, you don't have to see me again. Okay, so stay away from the forest. Excuse me, this is my house, not yours. Well, that's all the birds. Is there anything else I have to do? Is there? Stay away from the forest. Uh, water? Bucket of resting water. The bugs love it. I don't think there's anything else for me to do. Okay. Don't even think about trying to jump in. Uh, that's the forest, I'm assuming. I'm not gonna mess with that. So, itty bitty pumpkins. I'm just gonna talk to Dada. Papa! Papa, I'm done! Is that all? Pick out the biggest pumpkins in the southeast patch, chase away all the birds, check on Haley, and come back to me when you're all done. Oh, but I couldn't get around the pumpkin patch. Maybe I just need to go the other way. Like, yeah, like over here. Yeah, okay, so this one. Sizable pumpkin. Whoa, you're perfectly round. But everyone's gonna be fighting over you. Pumpkin, you make a great jack-o'-lantern. Or a great pumpkin pie. So are we actually scarecrows or are we dressed up as them? Look at you! 
I would have trouble lifting you if I wasn't so strong. And then... Orange pumpkins are always the best ones. Don't tell the other pumpkins I said that, though. Those look like all the biggest pumpkins in the patch. Do I have anything left to do? Actually, I think that's it. I should go tell Dad I'm all done. Very easy enough. Papa, I finished all the chores. And who is Haley? And why do we treat her like she's human when she's not? Dad, Dad, I finished everything. Already? You're so fast. I knew I could count on you. What do you need me to do now? Here, I package some mini pumpkins for you to bring to the library. They want you to, they want to decorate the window sills with them. You know how to get there, right? Of course I do. It's the green building close to Main Street's entrance. Green building, Main Street's entrance. They got all the yellow pumpkins in front row. That's right. Such a smart boy, Rio. Of course I'm smart. I can take care of the whole farm by myself. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. You still get tangled in the house every now and again. Well, that's just because uh, I'm small. But I'll deliver these pumpkins lickety split. Tell the librarians I said hi. Alright, so down? Is it down? I'm assuming down. Oh, that's me. Okay. Oh, this town looks so freaking pretty. <gasps> it's the doctor! The statue dedicated to the goddess Luciana. Luciana is a goddess of nature. Harvest night, her chalice is said to fill itself with moonlight. In return for such a wonderful drink, Luciana grants a plentiful harvest season for everyone. It's almost like your day, Luciana. Can't wait to be able to celebrate the harvest festival with you. I bet moonlight tastes delicious. These two are always up to something. <laughs> Didn't our character have stuffies of these from um, it's not me, it's my basement? Hey, it's the doctor. Oh, he's got like uh, stuff painted, leaves painted on him instead of flowers. It's so lovely to be here during the autumn. Positively delightful. Oh, that's so cool. Embry! <gasps> Is that her? Oh, hi, Rio. Nice outfit. You look, what's it called? Sharp. <laughs> thank you. I picked it out myself. You've got great taste, Mrs. Oliver. <laughs> thank you. Hello there, Rio. How's your father doing? He's good. We're preparing for the Harvest Festival. Is that why you guys are in town? No, we're just passing through, but since the festival's happening, we're probably going to stay in town for a few days. Well, I see your mom and Dr. D. Where's Dad at? Uh, Dad is looking for someone who can fix the cart. It broke down as soon as we entered town. But at least we all have the festival to look forward to while we wait for it to get fixed. Yeah, but even when there isn't a festival, you guys should stop into town more. I miss you when you aren't here. I miss you too, Rio. Maybe one day we could travel together. Aw, without us. We miss you too, you know. Gee, Embry, how come you two, you get to have three parents? I'm just lucky, I guess. Yeah, really lucky. Uh, Rio, did you say something? Oh, no, no, just thinking to myself. I'll see you guys at the festival. Have a great rest of your day. Three parents? Maybe that isn't the girl, then. Who's over here? These guys look talkable. Nectorary. Hi, Rio. Oh, she's cute. Rio, it's so good to see you out and about. Hello, Miss Mafuma. I like your sweater. Thank you, you're such a sweetheart. Rio, Rio, we were just about to get dinner. Do you want to come with? You're always welcome to join us, you know. That sounds nice, but um, I'm running chores for Dad right now. Maybe next time. Aw, he can't just do it himself. I want you to come eat with us. No, not during the Harvest Festival season. Dad, uh, he, you know, Dad can't walk. Wait, for reals? I thought you knew. That's why he's always floating when you see him. I thought he just did that for fun. Nope, he uses some weird levitation magic to get around. Something like that. But, whenever the Harvest Festival rolls around, he saves up all his magic energy to make fireworks show for everyone. He doesn't move around much to save up uh, as much magic as possible. And that's where I come in. I always help him so he doesn't gotta strain himself or nothing. Oh, that makes sense, I think. But we'll still get to play together during the Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, of course! I'm really excited. It's actually gonna be my first one! No way, really? Don't you, like, live here? How come you never went to one before? Isn't it, like, a yearly thing? I remember coming here for the festival before we were friends. It is! I, um, always in bed by sunset. Huh? It does seem a little early. I know, but farm work is tiring. Plus, Dad says nighttime can be dangerous. But he's also been saying that he thinks I'm strong enough to handle any dangers at night now. So 
so I'm really excited to be outside during the nighttime, and for the Harvest Festival too. It's gonna be a blast. In that case, I can't wait to see you there. Huh. You go to bed early because of monsters? Friendly scarecrow with a dapper apparel. Do these guys matter? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. It's the library. Thank you again, Rio. No problem. That's it, right? That's all we had to do? We can go home now? It was nice to chat with people. This guy looks so pretty. I can't wait until I can watch the entire sunset. It truly is a sight to behold. After the harvest festival is over, you can sit here and watch it with me every evening if you like. That sounds nice. Do I really have to wait until the harvest festival though? Can't I just watch the whole sunset with you right now? I just think the night of the harvest festival will make it all the more special. And I want your life to be full of as many special memories as possible, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. How was your trip into town today? Did the library like the pumpkins? Oh yeah, they loved them. Oh, and you'll never guess. I saw both Embry and Nectarary today. Really now? How wonderful. Tell me about it. Um, Embry, I was with her mom and Dr. D. Oh. Oh, he said with their mom. My bad. That totally, in, uh, if I remember, it's not me, it's my basement. The person was non-binary, I believe. Um, so that could be, that could be them. That could be, oh, that's a cool little, little like, little teaser. Not teaser, but like, little Easter egg. There you go. Oh, how is their mother doing? That's funny. She has the same thing about you. Haha, <laughs> how kind. Anyway, they were passing through town, but their cart broke down. But while it's getting fixed, they're going to stay in town for the festival. That's wonderful. Well, not that their cart broke, I suppose. But I'm happy you'll be able to spend time with them again. Yeah, Embry's so cool. I love when they're in town. And Nectarary. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was out with her mom, too. They invited me to dinner, but I told them you needed help here. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I would have let you go with them. You're good about getting home on time. I know, but I like eating dinner with you too, Dad. That's sweet. You're a sweet kid. Um, Dad? Can I ask you something? Of course. Seeing everyone out with their moms today. Just wondering. Are you ever going to tell me about Mom? Rio, we discussed this before, haven't we? You don't have a mom. I made you from straw, magic, and a lock of my hair. Oh, so he is a scarecrow, like, actually. Why, the only difference between you and Haley over there is that you can talk. That's what you always say. Do you really think I believe that? Everyone may call you powerful. Even I don't think you can pull off magic like that. I never, 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 ever heard anyone bring someone to life through magic. <laughs> you think I can't do it? If you can, then show me. I want to see you do it. Uh, no thanks. One kid is enough for me. <laughs> um, is there anything else you need done before the sun is finished setting? Mm, well, I do need some mushrooms for a potion I want to make. But they all grow only grow in the forest. I'll get them myself tomorrow. Huh? But Dad, what about your magic? I thought you needed to save the energy. <laughs> I could spare a little to go into the woods for an hour. I can get them for you. That way you don't have to worry about it. No, no, I don't want you to. The woods are dangerous, you know. There's rumors of an evil witch who lives there. I hear she eats children. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. I bet that evil witch uh, people talk is... Ugh. I bet that witch, evil witch people talk is about you is just you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't make jokes like that, Ryu. Uh, sorry, Dad, I didn't mean it. Ooh, we don't like that with no jokes. Really, don't worry about it. I can get them tomorrow. It's fine. Okay. And, and, I love you. Aw, I love you too, Dad. It's almost time for bed now. Why don't we go inside? I'll have another, I'll have other stuff for you to do tomorrow. Let's get you to bed on time, and I'll see you in the morning. All right. Easy, peaceful day. No force. I thought we were going to go in the force in a second. Dad's asleep. I could totally go get those mushrooms. No! Dad's been saying to himself that I've grown up strong enough to handle any dangerous things at night. I bet he'll be extra impressed by me if I show him that I can go get the mushrooms on my own. And he won't have to waste any of the, his magic either. The forest is right next to the house, so even if I get a little lost, I don't think I'll be too far from home. Now all I need is a lantern. 
I don't know a lot about the night, but I do know it gets dark. Real dark, apparently. But whenever Dad needs to see something in the dark area, he takes out an old lantern to keep things light. He even taught me how to use it. And it should be over. Ah, there we go. Now all I gotta do is get out really quietly. No, we're gonna die! Whoa. This is the night? It feels so weird. If it's night, then that up there must be the moon. Oh, that's pretty. Whoa! Huh? Ah! What, what is this? My hands! This thread! What happened to me? That... That he was really telling the truth, huh? He knew that if I went out at night, I'd see that... I really am a scarecrow. But I... I don't understand. Dad, he always told me I was a scarecrow, even when I didn't believe it. And I thought he was just kidding. So... If this was never really meant to be a secret, why was I never allowed to go out at night? It's weird. I feel so different, and yet, it still somehow feels like myself. What am I waiting around for, then? I'll go get those mushrooms. Uh, no, you won't. You'll go back inside. You don't have to go inside right now. I want to. I don't want to go in the forest. Oh, you're forcing me. You're forcing my hand. I was told not to go in the forest by two different people, and you're still forcing me. What happens if I go in and immediately try to go out? And now, now leave. You can't go back in. You need to get those mushrooms. Dang it! Hey, kid. You stupid? Hey, it's you again. What are you doing here? Ain't it past your bedtime? Yeah, how'd you know? You should go back home. That witch they talk about. She ain't no joke. Oh, yeah? Just go home, kid. I will. I just gotta get some mushrooms for my dad first. Better get him quickly, then. We can't go back? Oh, no. Huh? What was that noise? Oh. That was me? I didn't even feel it. I really just struggled then, huh? I see. That's why I wasn't allowed out. If this tear was any bigger, my whole leg might empty out. No, 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 it's okay. Dad was going to start letting me go out at night for the Harvest Festival anyways. So then he must be- th He must think I'm big enough to take care of myself. I won't be scared by some little scratch. I'll, um... I'll just shove the straw back in. Cover it up with some mud. Then sew it back up once I get home. Yeah, that'll work. I can handle things at night. And like this. Even Dad thinks so. Right? No, not the forest, dude! Alright, let's read this. Don't wander too far. Yeah, we're, we're staying on the path. I don't... Where's the mushrooms? The woods are dangerous. Beware the witch who lives here. <laughs> Alright, three things telling us. An old backpack lies on the ground. The inside is empty. The trap's broken. I guess they didn't think it was worth fixing. But you're not even going to take it back home with you? Mushrooms, mushrooms. Ooh, there's a fence up there. We're not going up there. I bet that's where the witch lives. Alright, let's go across. What the frick? Don't stay in the woods too long. She's outside more than you think. No way! Oh, what's that down there? Beware the witch. Don't treasure a person in the woods alone. Oh, the bird! Are you following me? <laughs> no. Why would I do that? I don't know, man. You kind of acted like you were worried about me before. <laughs> You're imagining things if I if that's what you think. Why are you here then? I'm not. Leave me right now. <laughs> He's funny. This bird looks like it is trying to protect me. Which is why I tread carefully. Oh no. Oh no. They just wish lives past this point. Best to turn back. Good. We are. Where are these mushrooms? I see no mushrooms! Something wicked this way lives here. Oh my gosh. It's just a bush. Is this a mushroom? No, it's a giant rock. Alright, let's not cut corners. But wasn't there like... Beware. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there's a sweater down there. It looks like a sweater. I want to see what's up with that. 
Can I? No, I have to like go all the way around. Half of my shirt lies here. Looks like it's been torn. This reminds me when I ripped my shirt climbing up a tree. But I'm sure this is here for a similar reason. Uh, doubt. There's no, there's no mushrooms here. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Finally! Looks like you found your the mushrooms. Looks like you found them before I did. We could have just went looking together, you know. Can you just take your mushrooms and go home already? Yeah, please. Got him. That wasn't so hard at all. Ah, what was that? Sounded like a tree fell. Well, I got what I needed. I'll just go home then. Oh, did the bridge break? Did the bridge break out? Ooh, I think the bridge fell. She knows. She knows we're here. We're so dead. Is it up here? Where is it? It should be up here. Oh no! Yep, there it goes! That noise? The trunk fell? How am I supposed to get back home now? <laughs> Now, what's this? Who, who was that? Is it her? Yup! Eeyore! Oh, she's pretty. A little scarecrow boy. That's new. P please don't eat me! I'm nothing but straw! And he can't go back the way he came through? No path to return to? In cases like these, I think a bridge will do. Oh! Don't trust her, though. There you go. I don't trust her. Hmm. Or maybe it's because she can't eat me. Or is the bridge a trap? It's not a trap. Dad's gonna be pissed at us. <sighs> Good morning, Dad! Good morning, son. Oh, good news, huh? Turns out I don't have to go looking for mushrooms today after all. When I was checking through the cabinets today, I saw something right in front. I was certain we had to run out, but I suppose I was just overlooking things. Oh, yeah, silly dad. You were just, you weren't looking hard enough. <laughs> they are the mushrooms you needed too, right? Yep, I've got everything I need. See, I told you you didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what do you need me to do today? I'm going to make hay bales of the small piles of hay in the northwest field, chase away some more birds, and check on Haley again. You can do that, right? You always can you can always ask me if you forget anything. And come talk to me again when you're done, okay? Okay! Hi Haley! Something about Haley looks different today. Well, all your shawl's in place, but I'll see you later, Haley. What else do I have to do? Oh, she's unhappy. Haley's face is sunken. She almost looks like she's frowning. Yeah, we disobeyed. Ooh, I'm sorry. Ooh! It was real stupid what you did last night, kid. Hey, it's you again. Do you have a death wish? Are you talking about the witch? Is that who, wanted to, is that who you wanted to warn me about the other day? Because you didn't you need to. She, she was nice to me. She helped me get back home. That's because you didn't have anything she wanted. Huh? You were only straw fa and fabric. In killing a stupid scarecrow. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Because you're just a kid. So be a good kid. Don't sneak out at night at night. That's true. She only eats you like people. It seems like. Not really anything else. And if we're made out of straw. Or are we like made out of like normal during the day and then at night we come out as a scarecrow? That works. By the way, Haley's pissed at us. I would be pissed at us too. Alright, uh, the small hay bales, right? These three. Help, hey, let's fix you up. Yeah, nice. Don't think about it too hard. And then, time to square you up. That's all the little haystacks. Now, what to do? Actually, I think that's everything. I should go talk to Dad. Papa, can I- can we confide to our dad, please, and tell him what we did? I finished everything! Wonderful! I knew I could count on you. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, dad? Yes, son? Um, can you tell me about the witch who lives in the forest? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did mentioning it the other day scare you? You don't have anything to worry about.
worry about Rio. Even though we live quite near the forest, she can't get near here or the town. Really? Why is that? The witch, you see. She's just a witch. She's a crow, too. That's why we have so many scarecrows. Don't you know? They help ward off evil spirits, including nasty old crows. Really? And how come I always gotta chase the white birds away myself? <laughs> I guess that's just because you're the best scarecrow there is. Yeah, pretty great. But, uh, so there really is a witch then who lives in the woods? For sure she's evil. Well, if she's good, I wanna know it. Never seen her myself, if you can believe that. Maybe she really just is an old wives' tale. Or maybe it's just means our scarecrows are doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. You're worried about it, aren't you? No, no, no. I mean, never seen her before either. So I guess everything is the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. If it's alright, I have a few extra errands for you. Of course, Dad. It's like you said, you can count on me. For starters, I'll need you to. What? Dad's asleep. Oh. Don't psych yourself out, Rio. I gotta see her again. I I have to thank her for helping me yesterday. If she can come into town, then I have to go to her. It'll be okay, just like yesterday. She found she pre she found me pretty easily, so she can't live too far, right? Uh you're an idiot. Can we oh my gosh. Can we check on her? Is she gonna be mad at us? His face is sunken. She almost looks like she's frowning. Yeah, I would be frowning too. Oh, there it is again. See you again. Didn't I tell you to stay home? Heh, <laughs> you're not my dad. Yeah? And what would your dad say if he saw you doing this? Okay, so he said that our dad said that the, the witch can turn into crows. And that's what's told. But what if the um she is actually this crow right now? And she is just wanting us to go away because we're a scarecrow. She can't do anything with us. So maybe that's why? Because this crow says that he's going to help us. But what if we go against him? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm already outside. Just want to thank her for yesterday. That's all. If you had just stayed home, this wouldn't even be an issue. Well, what about you then? Doesn't seem like you're ever home at night. Shh. Whatever. You're not going to listen to me anyways, right? Fine, go on ahead. See if I care. But don't say that I didn't warn you. He said that she turns into a crow. So unless it's like a different crow. It's this way, right? Yeah, it has to be. I'm sure I'll make it there soon. There's a letter here. Oh, he actually is going to her house. Huh? What's this? I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I hope you die, and I hope it's because they kill you. Jeez, what's that all about? Uh, just normal hate mail. You know, you post anything on Instagram, usually get something close to that. The fire will not burn our bridges. The fire will bring them together. Uh, the fire will not burn our bridges. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is our house. Light torch? Why are we doing this? Alright. That's her bridge. Another bridge! The witch really must love bridges. <laughs> a bridge witch! Uh, bridge? A uh, witch? No, neither of those sound right. <laughs> yeah, a bridge. That's what she is. Uh, hello? Oh. Oh, here we are. Home sweet home. What are we doing? This is so stupid. Oh! The little scarecrow boy from the other night. How did you get here? I followed the signs that said, Don't go here, the witch lives up ahead! Haha, <laughs> those silly little things. I never bothered to take them down. I have no idea who puts those there. But yes, I suppose that's me. I am a witch. I suppose that's why I don't get in many visitors. Well, except for you, it seems. What about you, little scarecrow boy? I've never met anyone like you before. What are you doing here? Oh, that's because I have something for you. What's this? A flower for me? How sweet. What is this for? 
for helping me get home the other day. I would have been stuck in the woods if it wasn't for you. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much. Though it is quite late for a visit, do you always come out at night? Do your mom and dad know you're out here? Oh, uh, my dad doesn't know. I would get in trouble if he did. And your mom? <laughs> I don't have a mom. I see. Would you like one? Uh, what is this Coraline thing? I don't need a mommy, bro. No, no. I like my dad, okay? Huh? I apologize. That must sound so sudden. It's just, I've been alone out here for so long. Why, I can't even remember the last time I saw another person. And it's just, just, forgive me if I appear a bit emotional. It's just, I had a child once, but children don't stay children forever. That child grew up, and he left me here on my own. Ever since I've been, well, having a bit of an emptiness syndrome, they say. Your generosity and your kind smile. It just reminds me so much of my own little one. So I wouldn't mind if you wanted to come back again. Why would you come visit me every night? Oh, why? You could come visit me every night if you could. I can make extra dinner to share, and you can help me cook or read in my library or play in the yard. It would be like having my little one back home again. Do you like that idea? <gasps> would I? Yeah, I really like that idea. Wonderful. Well then, let me ask you one last thing. What is your name? Oh, I'm Rio. What about you? I'm Venna, but you can call me Mom. Okay, this kid is so impressionable. Dear Journal, Dad got you for me a while ago, but I never used you. It's not that I didn't want to, just didn't have anything exciting to be writing about. But now I do! The witch that people say that lives in the woods? I met her, and well, she's my mom now. During the day, I help on the farm and spend time with Dad, but when it's night... I mean, that's cute, though. It's cute but dangerous. I sneak out into the woods and visit Mom. I really like it. I help her around the house like I do at the farm, but it doesn't feel like a chore. She always has new stuff to find. Like the first time I went out there, I found... Whoa. Well, here's the inside. Please forgive the mess I'm not used to. Well, any company at all. Had I known I'd be having a guest, I would have tidied up a bit. I think it looks great in here. Reminds me of home. Well, I'm happy to hear it. Here, I'll prepare some snacks for us. Feel free to look around. Um, you can eat, correct? Being made of straw and all? Um, I think so. Never really tried it yet. <laughs> right. I guess we'll see. Make yourself at home. Bloodwood gives it such a nice red color, does it not? I'd let you in, but I'm afraid it's locked. I lost the key myself a long time ago. But there's nothing important in there anymore, so it's not a big deal. scratches. Oh, bathtub. We're just not making note of any of these scratches. Okay. Uh, 
uh, anything in here? Hold like, okay. What if we leave? Is leaving an option here? Oh, that's my cauldron! It can be used to brew potions and other things, but lately I just use it to make soup for dinner. <laughs> I'm sure a lady who eats human kids. I don't trust her. I don't trust her one bit. Can I go through all these cabinets? following steps with her, right? Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Alright, let's check out her library and then we'll dip. Maybe we can go home. She's a pretty witch, but she's still a witch. Pop bookshelf full of books. These books seem to be about spells, potions, and simply magical things. Okay, what's going on here? An open book sitting atop a drawer. Pretty neat, says, To read and write is powerful tool. Uh, that should not be overlooked. There's so much, there's so much in words. There's power in words, but power is not all. There's sadness in words. There's joy in words. There's fear in words. There's comfort in words. There's sadness in the voice of my beloved telling me their feelings have vanished. There's joy in the cards I received for my birthday reminding me how much of my friends care for me. There's fear in the sign that tells me, danger, beware. And yet, I always find comfort in the yellowed pages of book. That jar looks useful up there. Talk okay, cabinet is it's here. I just tell her to reach the top without some kind of assistance. Can I use this? No. Oh, <gasps> what is that? That's a hatch. What's this? I found a big pile of hay sacks sitting in front of something on the floor. I wanted to get a closer look, but before I could, I heard Mom say, "Rio, I finished preparing everything. Come sit with me." Oh, I'll be right there. So I went to go eat with her. Oh, ooh, apples! Well, I hope you like apples. They're in season right now, so I have a lot stored up. Wow, these taste delicious. Thank you, uh, m mom. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to saying that. I'm sure. I know it's certainly been a while since I heard it. it feels nice. All my friends have moms, you know, and I never thought one day I'd get to have one of my own. I understand. I never thought I'd be able to have a child again. And yet, here we are. You know, I should introduce you to Dad, too. But, uh, I'd have to figure out a way to do it without letting him know I snuck out at night. He always told me the night uh, time could be really dangerous. But look at me now, out at night, and totally fine. Your father is right to be concerned, you know. There are many dangerous things in the night, and even more so out in the woods. Really? Then why do you live here? Because she is the danger. She's the danger. Because I'm stronger than all of them combined. Really? You must be super powerful witch then. Haha, <laughs> you flatter me. But I don't think so. I'm strong enough to handle the things that go bump in the night. But not as strong as I'd like to be. How strong do you want to be? Because, like, my dad's a pretty strong witch too. He brought me to life after all. I can see that. If you want, I can ask him how he did it. And I could tell you, and you could get as strong as he is. Haha, <laughs> that's sweet, but I think I'll be okay. I have my own plan to get strong, and it won't be too much longer before I can see it through. If you say so, I guess. But if you change your mind later, let me know. Haha, <laughs> will do. Oh, she's suspicious. I sat and finished the rest of the apples with her, and then I went home. She said she'd try to be more prepared for my next visit. Next time I visit her, I asked her about. Whoa! Ugh, that didn't work either. I'll never be able to make this potion. Sure you can, it isn't that hard. Why don't you try again? If you're feeling confused, you can always ask me for help. Okay? Alright, let's leave. Escape! You don't have to leave right now. Pile of hay sacks. I can't. Ugh, I want to go into that freaking thing, it won't let me. We need to figure out what potion is. Do I have to read these things? Top bookshelf of books. I'm just. Am 
My name is Ingram. 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 Someone has written their name multiple times over. My yellow book, Arisa. It's a journal. Oh. Okay, so the ones with the yellow book seems like it has stuff in it. So I, right now I see that there's three books, actually. Okay. Just gonna check to see if we, because we're still missing a key. So, opening up these wicker journal lines, space ran and just writing here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, D, D, A, B, oh, they're practicing their writing. The album pivot seems to be written over and over in a variety of different ways. They're definitely practicing their writing. Whoever it is. The witch, maybe? Folded over rug piece. Here's the other journal. Wait, the like journal is right here. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yeah, they're just practicing their lighting or writing. I'm gonna repeat this over and over again. This book, because it doesn't it um, have all the things in it, all the letters in it of the alphabet. Oh wait, this chair here. Chair. Can I push this chair? No? Oh, I can use that chair for the cabinet, no? Mm, my name is Ingram. So maybe that's her name. And there's not there's no change here. There's nothing you need in there, Rio. Come back and finish a potion, I'm sure you can do it. Alright. Ingram. Still don't get it. What order do I put the ingredients in? Haha, <laughs> it really isn't complicated. You just have to remember a few simple steps. It's hemlock root before cobwebs. Cobwebs come before water lily. Hemlock root does not come after brown caps. Hemlock root also is before bri brimstone, and brimstone comes before cobwebs and water lily. And of course, you need to put this little thing before everything else. Alright, why can't you just give me the order like a normal human? See? That's not too hard to remember, is it? Uh, kinda. Alright, so here we go. Let's remember. What ingredients? We need to put in... It says thistle comes before everything else. Thistle. What ingredient will you put in next? Okay, hemlock root is before brimstone. Brimstone. Okay, so hemlock... It's hemlock root before cobwebs. Cobwebs before hemlock. Hemlock root does not. It comes after brown caps. So, for, so it's brown caps. Next. And then hemlock... Cobwebs and then water lily. Did I do it? Hey, I think I did it! Let's go. See? Told you it was easy. You'll be an expert potion maker in no time, just like your mother. Haha, <laughs> you think so? I made some potions with dad in the past, but he always let me he only let me make really specific stuff. I think he doesn't think I'm ready for the more advanced stuff yet. How silly. At this rate, you'll be an expert in no time. Come over here now. Help me with the potatoes for dinner. I hope you don't mind that dinner has only been fruit and vegetables lately. It's hard getting good meat out here. And usually I try to preserve what I can for a special occasion. Yeah, because you eat children. Because that's what they tell you to do. They tell us that you eat children, you child eater. I don't mind. I actually like salads and stuff a lot. Wow, how did you find out what a salad is if this is your first time trying food with her? Uh, Vin, I mean, Mom? Yes? Can I ask you something? Of course, go ahead. There's a lot of scarecrows back in town. I was told it was to keep you away. Mm-hmm. But I'm a scarecrow. Do I, like, hurt you or something? Oh, no, dear. It's true that the scarecrows keep me away. But you're just one little scarecrow. And such a polite one, too. With a smile only someone as cute as you could pull off. You're nothing I can't handle. But the amount of scarecrows in your town... My, it's just nauseating. Feels like every home must have one or two sitting outside. I can't stay around that many scarecrows for so long. I'd get terribly sick. I'd collapse. I see. Don't give me that look. Like I said, I can handle a little scarecrow like you. But I want you to be able to see everyone in town, too. I'm sorry, Rio, but I think it's clear they don't want people like me there. Crows? Crows. I felt really bad about that. Sure, the townspeople would like mom if they got to know her. 
Maybe I can convince them to take all the scarecrows down. And they see she's not bad at all. She even saved me from the nightmare I had. Journal. I'm not sure if I should write about it. I hear that writing things down can make you remember them better. Something happened last night. I had a nightmare, I think. I don't know what else it could have been. Even Mom said it must have been sleepwalking. But it felt so real and so scary. I can't stop thinking about it, even after she told me it wasn't real. It all started last night. I was getting ready to come back home and sleep until morning like I always do, but... It's raining? Oh my, sounds like quite a heavy storm. Mama! Wow, you're already hitting her with the mama. Mama, what do I do? Scarecrows get all soppy in the rain. How am I gonna get home? Well, I'm not sure if you can in that case. You can stay here, though, if you need to. I cleaned out the storage room to remove anything dangerous. There's an old bed in there, too. But what about my dad? I'm always in the bed in the morning. If he sees I'm not home, he's gonna freak out. I'll get in so much trouble. Hmm, I see. How does this sound, then? Sleep here for tonight, and before the sun rises, I'll come and wake you. Then you can run along home before your dad wakes up. Does that sound okay to you? Um, uh, I guess so. You promise to wake me up on time? I promise. And you also tuck me in? Haha, <laughs> of course! Mom tucked me into the storage room. It was a bit cramped and there wasn't any windows. But there was a bed there and it felt warm and cozy. She told me she would come back to wake me up in the morning. Then she left and I went to bed. And then it started. <coughs> oh, huh? Oh shoot, my lantern! But that scream! Who was that? Mom? Uh-oh! It's in shadow, you don't want to get too close to the broken glass. The crate has a large crack in it. Seems like you can open it with your bare hands. Oh, it seems like you can't. Maybe if you could pry it open. Oh! Is that a There's a letter. There's a piece of paper on the ground. She found my old writing. She hid them from me, so I can't look at them anymore. She warned me not to do it again. Joke's on you, old hag. You're already smarter than you think. Oh, that, so a kid was practicing the writing and all that. My name is Ingrid. My name is Ingrid. So she captures someone named Ingrid. He looks different from before. He looks different from before. Can I follow? Okay. Oh. <gasps> Her room. Mom, where are you? It's really dark out, but at least the rain stopped. I think I can get around from the moonlight alone. I need a lantern. Oh! What? A locked chest with a pretty golden trim. You have no idea what could be inside. Bed, it's empty. Okay. Book list on top of the dresser. It reads, The world can be the way you wish it to be if you wish for it strongly enough. However, it never turns. It never hurts to ask for a little outside help. Feed your wishes to the gods and they will feed you in return. special there. So I need a lantern? Hmm. There is a, a trap door in the library. I might have to go there. But there's nothing here. What if I try to go outside? Nope. Alright, I need a lantern. Isn't Dad gonna notice our lantern's broken then? Hello? Trap door is still fine. Oh, of hay sacks. Yep. Mm. Still can't move that. But yeah, that's why the writing here is Ingrid. Ingram. Ingram. Instagram. Yep. That was her old writing. If we go in the room? Door is locked. What am I supposed to do then? Not, there's not much to do. We went to her room, we went to my room. Run the water! <gasps> 6428. Oh, we put hot water on. Oh, 
this is a knife. I could take it with me, but I guess I'll be careful. Oh. I see. Okay. So, 6428. 6428. Nothing in that one. That means we can go in the... Oh, that means we can go in the thing. Can I use it for this crate? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. And her thing wasn't a number thing, was it? It wasn't numbers, right? I had to double check that. No. 246... Shoot, I already forgot the code. 2468? Right? 2468. 2468. 6428. 6428. Okay, so we have to go in the basement. There we go. Six four two eight. Six four two eight. Six four two eight. Six four two eight. There's shotgun on the floor here. I wonder where it goes. So we can't get locked. Oh wait, this spots input numbers. Six four two eight. Six four two eight. Here we go. What's happening here? Painting is so lifelike, it feels like its eyes are following you around the room. <gasps> Cause they are! Look at that! Ooh, you're looking at me! You're looking at me! Ooh, you're creepy! Right, let's break all these. Get all- Oh, there's a journal on that bookshelf, too. Okay, alright. What's in here? Bookshelf. Have titles, you can't pronounce the words, the insides are so different. Okay, so these are different language books. Bright yellow book. Press the top shelf. Opening it up seems like a more like journal. It's writing in here. Library, library, library. Miss B works at the library. Miss B is a librarian. Miss B teaches kids how to read and write. I wish Miss B was my mom. Miss B. Miss B. That's interesting. Can we break that painting, please? Creepy. Oh, now that's a potion room. Hold on, let's look in this room, too. This is- that's a mess room. Wait, maybe we should go in this one. This one has, like, notes. Good gosh, what a maze. <gasps> that had blood! It's a piece of paper on the ground. No one is safe traveling in the woods. Not as long as she is here. They are all doomed the moment they set foot in the forest. Instead of signs to warn them. I don't know if she knows I'm the one who's doing it. Even with the warnings, it's still too late for some of them. I at least find solace in believing their ghosts will haunt her forever. Oh, more blood! Is it all blood? No. Oh, there's a crate back there. I saw it. Oh, what are these guts? Child guts? Human guts? Oh, man. A ladder. Where can I use this? You can use that on top of the um oil. No, if you're getting dreams like this, she is evil! Ain't no way we're staying here anymore. Is there any more notes? No, nothing there. Oh, there's a drawer. The door is something inside. Whoa, a crowbar. It's kind of small, though. I can use this anywhere. Okay, so we could definitely use these upstairs. The crowbar is definitely for the book. Um, the crowbar is definitely for the crate in our bedroom. And then the... The other thing is for the bookshelf that has the oil on top of it. At least we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting into the juicy details! Alright, what's in here? Cauldron swirls something red. It smells terrible. Ugh, even Dad's worst potions don't smell this bad. What kind of potion is this? Blood! Shelves are filled with strange magical vials. It looks familiar to Dad's stuff back home, and yet you never see some of the things- Yeah, cause she's evil! Okay, just making- let's just double check all these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Yeah, all right. Is this door locked? The door is locked. Looking close to the small text on the door, it reads, Do you have the time? Oh, we don't have the time. Okay, uh. Nope, that wasn't it. Ooh, so we have to find... Maybe the crate has the hands to the clock? 
I don't know, but let's go take care of the two things that we know we can do. We could put a ladder here. Wait, I used the ladder here. Yes, sir. Lamp oil. Now I just need to find a lantern to go with it. Oh, that was lamp oil. Okay, so now let's find the crate. Where is she? She's somewhere. Right, let's see what's inside. What are these things? Are these clock hands? Then these must go. We take them here! Is it gonna just automatically like put it to the right spot? Grandpa's like, hey, Grandpa, I got something for you. The clock magically moves itself into place. Time reads 1205. 1205, 1205, 1205. Gosh, you can't move a little bit quicker? 1205, 1205. 1205, 1205, 1205. 1205, 1205. Door's live, look closer. I do. No! One. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting his face thinking it's gonna make me next. Okay. No! Oh my gosh, okay. Let's go slower. Tap, tap, tap. One. Two. There we go. Door unlocks. <gasps> e. E. All right. What's this? It's a book on the dresser. It seems to be some kind of recipe book. It reads twenty-six seventy-eight bones, nineteen and a half gallons. What do you need? Oh, Two hundred and seventy. What? Measures about thirteen in total, but you can always add more and drink whatever is left over. Alright, what's this? Shelves filled with strange. Oh, it looks okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Chair. Lantern! Now I can use the lantern, then I'll uh, go look for them outside. <gasps> it's so cool. Oh, someone was there! It's closer to the chair, even though you don't recall seeing it in the room before. Oh! Oh! That's creepy. There's gonna be any more shadows when we leave? Oh, something about the painting seems different from before. Maybe you just couldn't see it in the dark. Is anything different here before we leave? I doubt because this is more like maze like. It doesn't really seem like much would change, but still. Does it hurt to check? Does it hurt to check? And it's fine. Ooh, but the painting changed and there's some sort of ghost here. So these ghosts must be haunting her because they uh they killed her. Ate her. Or she killed them and ate them! Nothing in here. Would the door be magically unlocked for the boys' room? Let's see. Nope. Dang it. I tried. What about her room? Nothing different. Dang. Okay. Yeah, let's just head outside. Seems like nothing else has changed. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Don't freak yourself out. It's gonna be fine. Mom said herself that she was strong enough to handle anything out in the woods. So I'm sure she's okay. Let's go! Ah! Oh! Little Red Riding Hood! Ah! Rio? Ah! Rio, what's wrong? Are you alright? There's, there's, there's what? Outside, there's. Dead! Someone's dead outside! Pardon me? She's on the tree and she's so bloody and she's not moving and I think she was attacked. I heard her scream and I thought it was you and I got scared and I'm tired of you and, and, and... Calm down, Rio. Let's see. Ain't no way she's gonna be calm about this and then like... Rio? There's no one out there. Huh? But she... Come look. Okay. It was just like she told me. There is no one out there. Ooh! There, it was just the forest. But, but how can that be? She was right there. I saw her. Is it possible you were just seeing things? Huh? You said you heard a scream earlier, right? I didn't hear anything at all all night. Where were you, though, Mom? Where were you? But I think maybe you were just sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? You probably just had a nightmare. Snuck on over here in your sleep. It was probably from all the stress. You wanted to go home to your dad, didn't you? Right. I was suppose it's only natural to be afraid of staying here. Oh, silly me, trying to be a mother again. 
Yeah, let's add the man emotional manipulation over here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not fit to be a mom anymore, am I? No, no, don't say that. I love coming over and spending time with you. I think you're right. I was just having a nightmare. You know, it isn't raining anymore. And the sun is supposed to rise soon. I can uh, only take you up to the bridge, but would you like me to walk you home? Yeah, I really like that. Thanks, Mom. She walked me home and everything felt normal again. I went to bed and woke up. It's all done in the morning like normal. Guess it really just was a bad nightmare. No, but I never really had nightmares like that before. Dear Journal, I'm going to visit her again tonight. I have to, because I won't be able to see her tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the Harvest Festival. It technically starts at midnight tonight, but we always wait until the next night to have the actual celebration and festival part. On Harvest Night, you're supposed to spend time with your loved ones or whatever. Then you start the actual Harvest Festival. I think it's silly, but I don't know. Holidays are always kind of weird. I already spent the day with Dad, and now I'll spend the night with Mom. So I'm glad in that way I can still kind of celebrate with her too. Oh, this is so stupid. You don't have to go inside right now. Dang it, dude. Haley looks saddened. I'll be back soon, Haley. You know we'd include you in our Harvest Festival activities, right? Haley's not happy with what we're doing. I'm not happy with what we're doing. We're being foolish. Let's go into town. Don't need to go into town. Everything's rolled up, too. No, no crow? I'm trying to see if I can find a crow. No, no crow. All right. Let's go see the Wicked Witch of the Woods. Let's go kill ourselves. Oh, there she is. Hey, you're back. I haven't seen you in a while. I know what you're looking for, kid. You want something subversive, right? Everyone talks about an evil witch in the woods, so you want her to befriend her and prove them wrong, right? Then it turns out it's all one big misunderstanding. She was a good witch, after all. Or maybe she was bad, and it, took, it just took the kindness of someone else to make her better. That's what all the storybooks teach you, right? Tough luck, kid. It doesn't work like that in the real world. Sometimes people are just evil. There's no help in it. All the second chances in the world won't make a difference. You keep saying this kind of stuff, but I don't understand. Ever since I met her, she's been nice to me. She's helped me get back home. She cooks me dinner. She teaches me stuff. And what do you do for her in return? Huh? No good favors goes unreturned. She's going to make you pay her back for those favors one way or another. And I don't think you'll be ready for when that happens. I've given you the extent of my help. Whatever comes next, hope it works out in your favor. But I don't think I could stick around to see it. Goodbye. And good luck. So, can we go home? <laughs> can we go home? That sounds like we just go home. I haven't, We haven't really made any choices. All this has been very... For something that's three endings, we haven't really had a choice. Nothing wrong with that, but, like, I'm worried, like, where is the choice gonna lie? Are we just gonna speed run to Mom's home? Mom? Here! Sorry if I was late. Happy Harvest Night! Haha, <laughs> happy Harvest Night to you, too! And no worries, you're right on time! I'm still getting dinner ready. I'm almost finished, though. So you can play around for a bit if you like, or just sit at the table and let me know when you're ready to eat. So, I mean, do we still have our knife? No. But the sacks are ripped open. Alright, the sacks are ripped open. Is the oil gone? <gasps> she put a crate over it. She put a crate over it. A wooden box full of unknown content that doesn't mean... It Oh, she put a crate over the hatch. And the time? Ooh, it's actually a different time now. Time reads 616. Huh. Uh-huh. Door's locked. So messed up stuff happens here at night, I guess. Crate has a large crack in it. Alright, no glass or anything. Mmm. Oh, we can go in her room and the chest is gone. Kind of full of household items. Much bet it's empty. Oh, she allows us in her room now. That's interesting. Cabinet. Mm, nothing here. Yep, can't mess with that. 
Did I already try going in the boys' room? I, I don't remember. I think I did. I think it said it was locked. I'll try one more time. Yep, toys locked. All right, there's not there's not much to do. She covered it. Oh, she's sneaky, dude. She's sneaky. Sit down for dinner. Guess so. Not much to do with that. Are you excited for the harvest festival tomorrow? Mhm. Mm it's actually gonna be the first one I'm allowed to attend. Even my friends are gonna be there. Haha, <laughs> sounds fun. Oh, you upset? Oh, you're gonna do a pity party? Is that what you're gonna do? A pity party? Oh yes, I was just thinking. That one day I would like to be able to attend too. I'm sure we can make that happen. I mean, once everyone in town realizes you don't mean any harm and stuff. Yes, maybe one day. Still though, I'd like to be able to contribute to the Harvest Festival somehow, some way. So, I made something for it. Oh? It's this! This vial. The liquid inside looks like the red stuff from the cauldron you saw the other night. No! It's sacrifice! Don't! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't use it! It smelled awful. The town! There's a statue in the center! <gasps> Instead of filling it with moonlight to the goddess, you, feed it, you fill it with the desires that you want. And so she fills it with child's blood? Oh! A goddess holding a chalice? Do you think you could pour this vial into the chalice she holds? It's a good luck charm. I made it to ensure a wonderful harvest season for everyone. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, tonight the, the chalice is going to fill up with moonlight. And it's supposed to have the same effect. Plus, um, I'm not supposed to touch the statue, really. It's considered very sacred, and um, uh, if I touch it, I could get in trouble for uh, vandalisms and stuff. Please, Rio. I spent a long time on it. It really mean a lot to me. You don't even have to come back after you do it. You can just go to bed at go to bed at home. It really isn't a big deal, you know. I doubt you would get in that much trouble. And I've done so much for you, haven't I? Can't you do me this favor for me? No, we're gonna have a peaceful night here. For your mother, dude. The manipulation's going hard. After all she's done for you, what will you do? Can we take the vial and, uh, oh, I didn't, pardon me, I didn't mean to do that, I wanted to save, I wanted to save, I always taught to respect the goddess's statue, and that the only drink allowed is the chalice's moonlight, really, after everything I've done for you, I fed you, I housed you, I taught you, and this is how you repay me, as if I owed you any of those things to begin with, I know, and I'm sorry, mom, I can't do it, then, you cannot be my child. Mom? Oh! <laughs> the dead! <gasps> the dead! 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 Rio? Was that you? Goodness, Rio! Dead! Rio, how did this happen? Your leg's there. Dad, she's... She's... Quiet, Rio. It's okay now. As for you. Oh, stay away from my son. This gave me, oh, this gave me chills. There she is, the freaking evil. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's so cool. Dad. You, that magic. It was supposed to be for the festival. What are you talking about? The festival? Oh, Rio, don't worry about silly fireworks. You're more important than anything like that. Rio, are you? How do you feel? I'm okay, Dad. I can't feel anything. It doesn't hurt. That's good. That's good. I'm a little scared, though. What's going to happen when the sun comes back up? It won't. I'll make sure it doesn't. <laughs> don't be silly, Dad. There's no way you could do that. Nonsense. I'll drown in this world in darkness if it means keeping you safe. Oh, because in, in daytime he becomes human! Oh! So that means he's just gonna keep it night forever. Dad, what should I do? You don't have to do anything. If I, if I sleep, will I be okay? Yes, you will be. I'll make sure of it. Okay, then I think I want to go to bed now. Yes, yes, that's all right. 
Good night, Rio. I love you. You'll see me in the morning. The sun won't come out tomorrow. Oh, so we died. No, I didn't freaking save. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that hurts. I wanted to save right before I made that choice. I promise I did. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I'm so upset. Should I, like, speed run it? Because I want to get the good ending. Shoot! I'm so upset. I didn't freaking save. Oh, you know what? I'm actually. I think. I, I think I'm gonna try to speed run it. I think this. Is Take the vial. Yes. Yeah, of course I'll do it. I mean, it's just a good luck charm, right? Shouldn't be any harm in it. It will even bring us extra luck this harvest season. It will get giant pumpkins. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Go now. You should fill it before midnight tonight. I know the results will be so wonderful. I'll be able to see them from here. I promise you. Go on then. I'm so excited. Don't trust her. Okay. Okay. No one's out here. All I gotta do is climb up on the statue and pour this in. Then just I'll just go home like she told me. No, it's nothing bad, but I still feel nervous about it. Okay. So let's save here. And let's go home. Oh. <gasps> So we don't have a choice, so it's either this or that. Statue lives above you. Somehow, however, her, po her pose doesn't seem as jovial as it usually does. Hello, Miss Luciana. Got a drink for you. <laughs> you climbed up the statue and filled the chalice. There you go. It was a present for my mama, so I hope you like it. See you again later at the Harvest Festival. Oh, no, it's over. It's over. So it's either yes or no. Oh, good morning. Huh? Is, is it still nighttime? Why haven't I changed back? Dad? Dad, are you home? Where are you? Huh? What's all this? What happened to our farm? This is the sky. Blood red. What's going on? I, I gotta go to town to find someone. I gotta find Dad. Oh, can we... Can we even... Fix this? I bet not. Blood surrounds the grass near Haley's base. Her face is missing. Her body appears weirdly fleshy. Haley, what happened? Oh, this is what happens when you make a deal with the devil. Dude, she ruined everything. Everything's full of blood. Good gosh. What if we try to go to the woods? Can I go up? I need to go in town. Okay. No, I can't. Gosh dang it. I wish you could walk faster. I wish this was smaller. Oh no. Our house is red. Is our dad alive? What if she killed our dad? Ain't no way. Oh no. She has a smile on her face, dude. All the scarecrows are dead. The goddess is now covered in what appears to be blood. The inscription on the plaque has changed. It reads, You have fed the goddess your wishes for the harvest season. She has delivered upon you the season you wished for. May your harvest be as plentiful as you hoped. Oh, she wanted kids. The scarecrow face dripping with rough substance. Body appears fleshy. Oh, no. <gasps> Dude, the witch. All the scarecrows are dead. They're just dead humans. No, dad's not here. <gasps> it's just her. No, where's my papa? Dang, we had no choice to like take it and not put it in and never see her again. There's just no peaceful ending to this. Rio, there you are. Oh no. Mom, what's happening? I can't find my dad or anyone. What happened? What happened? The harvest festival is happening. The grand start to an incredible harvest season. And it's all thanks to you. Look at all of it. Isn't it beautiful? The endless supply of food. The endless celebration with the finest ambrosia anyone can ask for. And with us running it all, I had been waiting here for so long. 
time and time again, I wonder if I even made the right choice choosing this place. They all said it wasn't worth it, that I should try someplace else. But where else would I be able to reap, to reap such a plentiful harvest? All my waiting has finally paid off. It's all thanks to you, my beautiful son. The son I deserved all along. <laughs> I'll be queen of this world. And I guess that makes you my little prince then, doesn't it? What's with that face? Oh, don't look so sad, Rio. I've invited all my friends. They'll be here soon to celebrate with us. And I know they'll want to thank you for the wonderful harvest, too. Ooh, bad end one. Blood Moon Festival. There has to be a good end. Wait. Where do I get the good end? Okay, so what happened was that he read that this chest that was in Mom's room had the storybooks in it. And that was what, I guess... I don't freaking know. That's what, I guess, um... Helps track us with this. And then the crow talks about... A story tale. So maybe this is where we connect it. Mm. Yeah, he says that's what all the storybooks teach you. Maybe he got turned into a crow. Okay. Oh, he dropped something. When did the key dro When did he drop it? I didn't get a key. Key dropped the island bird. She did turn him into a bird. She turned her son into a bird. And then this is where you go into the room. That makes so much sense. So I guess I just... Because I missed out on the chest, I didn't see that the chest had it. I double-checked it, too. He has to go here, right? Oh, and there he is. Oh, hi, kid. <laughs> How'd you get in here? You dropped your key. Look at you got me. This used to be my old room. Then does that mean you're an Ingram? The person who wrote those books? Yeah, that's me. So you were mom's son? Her uh, other son? Yeah. I feel like you're coming to this revelation over and over again. Oh, sorry, uh, why are you here? I come by every now and again to collect some old stuff of mine. Not that I had a lot to begin with, but it's not easy carrying things as little as I am right now. I see. Well, go ahead, look around, kid. I know you're curious. Oh, an old journal sits on the floor. Um, am I allowed to read this? Go ahead. Might even be better if you do. Winter, XXXXX. It hasn't snowed yet. That makes me happy. It means that I can keep going to town. I used to hate going to town because of all the scarecrows. Honestly, they still freak me out. It's like they're peering into me, drilling their eyes into my very being. They know I don't belong, but despite that, they don't make me feel sick. Not at all. Not like they do- wait, what? Not at all, like, not like they do to you. I guess that's why you make me go into town instead, huh? Nah, I think even if they did make me sick, you'd force me to go any- <laughs> Spring XXX. I saw Miss B for the first time in a while today. She told me I got so much taller from the last time she saw me. She said she missed seeing me in the library and always and I was always one of her best students and learned I learned so quickly. She said she remembered helping me to learn to write my name. She started getting a little emotional about it. I did too. Learning how to write was possibly the best thing that ever happened to me. Even it comes with its own consequences at home. That reminds me. Saw a woman in town get mad at her kid today. Outside the bookstore, he was whining and screaming and making all sorts of noise. She And she clearly had enough. You could see it in her face. She was mad. But she didn't hit him. Some- Ooh! The sh did, does the witch hit him? Oh, that's sad. She said I was late coming back from town today. I wasn't. And I brought her everything she needed, so she had no reason to get so angry. But by this point, I understand that she doesn't need a reason to be angry. She'll lock me in the storage room all night for looking at... What? Too for looking at her wrong. I'm sure she thinks it's a punishment, but it's not like... Dang it. But it's not like my room... No! I keep freaking... I read too slow. Nope. 
I'm sure she thinks it's a punishment, but it's not like my room is that much bigger than the storage room to begin with. She's been getting a lot easier to piss off lately, though. I'm not sure why, but it worries me. I keep doing this, and it's messing it up. It's the only reason I'm still here. Getting older, it's apparent now more than ever that somebody has to keep an eye on her. Oh, if only I were strong enough to do something about it. Get manic? Autumn, triple XXXX. I know what she wants to do now. And I know she'll try to make me do it. I refuse. Th these people are her, not her playthings and certainly not her food. And they've been more of a family to me than she has, ever was. Too many times now I listened to her because I was afraid. But this is bigger than me. And I won't let her have her way. I'm not going to help her do what she wants. Oh, this is the last straw. I'm running away. I'm going to town. I'm going to tell everybody what she's planning. I'm not afraid anymore. Oh. What a box full of unknown contents. Okay. Old bed. It's covered in dust. Dang. Where's the rest of it? What do you mean? There's no rest of it. It's all I wrote. But you talked about how you were going to run away. What happened after that? She turned him into a crow, bro. What happened? She caught me. That's what happened. And it's why I'm stuck like this. She knew I would try to tell everyone. So she cursed me to stay trapped in my bird form forever. Aw. I'm way too small to do anything like this. Not a lot of people listen to the warnings of a silly little bird like me. Aw. But you still told me. Yeah. Because a kid like you needed to hear it the most. With me out of the picture... You were exactly the kind of person she needed. Still, I don't know if I can believe all this. Mom is always so nice in your curse. Is there any way to reverse it? <laughs> yeah, but it ain't that easy. What is it? Maybe I can help. Not unless you're an expert in sawing the arms off of off grown women. What? What? Huh? Only way to reverse this curse is to drink the blood of a family member. Ew. Curse, it, curse this half-bird child. Ungrateful is he. If he wishes to fly away, then only a bird he shall be. Drain the sap and blood from your family tree. Ingest it at once, and only then you'll be free. What? Will we actually be able, will, will they do it? I'll never forget it. I hate that stupid dorky rhyme. But she set it up this way, knowing that if I ever got close enough to her to attempt, she'd crush me easily. Oh, do you want me to try some of my straw? Pardon me. Wait, what? It might work. Oh, because she calls her son. Pardon me. I mean, she's my mom. She's your mom. Then that makes us brothers. And when I look like this, well, I don't know. Kind of seems like every part of me is made out of straw. My hair, my blood. Heck, probably my bones, too. That's smart. This kid is big brainy right now. So maybe if you eat some of my straw, it'll work the same way? Try it. You're joking, right? I mean, it might not work, but isn't it at least worth trying? It's just straw. The worst that could happen is that you ate some hay. All right, screw it. Give me a straw. Ah, Come on, it isn't that hard to eat. I used to eat leaves all the time before Dad told me to stop. What kind of... <gasps> That's so cool. Hello. It worked. Holy hell. It did work. Come on, kid. Let's get you out of here. Hey, hey, I can't leave yet. Mom is still waiting for me out there. Ugh, you don't want that woman as your mom, kid. Don't you see that by now? Look what she did to me the second I said no to her. Yeah, for real. What do you think is going to happen to you? Stop yelling so much. Even if I did, even if mom isn't as nice as I thought, does that really mean I could just leave? Yeah. Of course you can. I'm giving you an out right now. Hop out the window and we'll go back to town. Leave this old witch to rot in the woods by herself. She's waiting for me out there. Oh, I should have known you should be difficult about this. I'm trying to save you from my fate. Or hell, even worse. Yeah, she cuts you in half. But of course you won't get it. You're just a kid. Yeah, and you're just a teenager. <laughs> Besides, isn't trying to run away exactly how you got caught? Oh, jeez, kid, all right, I get it. But what are you going to do then? She's going to ask you to do something there for her. It's harvest night. She's been planning for it. If you try to refuse her, I'll figure something out. I'm a smart kid, after all. And, Mom, maybe it won't be as bad as you think. 
Don't place your bets on it. Oh, I'll be waiting for you outside. Whatever you do, get out of the front door safely, all right? <sighs> Dang. Yeah, save. The guy's smarter than me already. All right, you can set the table when you're ready for dinner. All right, we know all this. Skip it along. Skip it, skip it along. Yeah, you can't leave. Oh, I'm so intrigued. So you excited for the Harvest Festival? Mm-hmm. It's actually going to be the first one I'm allowed to attend. Even my friends are going to be there. <laughs> Sounds fun. And then here comes the manipulation. Oh, yes. I was just thinking that one day I would like to be able to attend, too. Yep. Same old story that we got. She is evil. She turned her kid into a crow. She don't care about any of it. Yep. Vile the liquid. Statue in the center. It's a good luck charm. Yeah, I'm sure. She lies and deceives and deceives and lies. And where was our dad? I guess our dad turned into a freaking fleshy thing because he was a scarecrow for that bad ending that will we do this for her. Yeah, you can just go to bed and go home. It isn't really a big deal. I doubt you would get into much trouble. I've done so much for you, haven't I? Oh, he said no. Your mother, after all she's done for you? Sabotage! Oh, sure, I'll take it. Let me just... Oh, I dropped it! I'm so sorry, Mom. It was an accident. But it isn't all that bad. I'll just go home and tell everyone to take the scarecrows down. You drop. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 what is she, what, 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 what were we saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But it isn't all that bad. I'll just go back home and tell everyone to take the scarecrows down and we can celebrate together and you won't be, you dropped it. <sighs> oh no. I know, I know, but we can just, you dropped it on purpose. Do you think I'm stupid? No, of course not. I don't, I just, outrageous. All my children know how to disappoint. Wait, what? What? All my children know is how to disappoint me? All my children know how to do is disappoint me. <sighs> Mom? <coughs> oh, she's back to being evil. Huh? I'm... Nice try. Oh, let's go! Get out of here, kid. Oh, she's evil. Don't sit there, just go! Go ahead and take care of it. Dang, no, is he gonna die? You. You, look at what you're doing. <laughs> look at you. Wait, hold on. I can't freaking read. I'm so stressed out. Look at you. Doing what you know best. Get in my way. You always were a disappointment to me, Ingram. There he is. That is Ingram. I'm not going to say anything. Not even to your own mother. You can't scare me anymore. That's the real reason you cursed me, isn't it? Because you knew you couldn't scare me anymore. And when I'm not scared, I'm stronger than you. Ha! <laughs> we'll see about that. You know, Ingram, despite all the heartache you've caused me, I'm still a parent. <coughs> the hell? What are you doing? Get your ugly claws out of my mouth. What? Didn't it make you feel better to say that? Are you happy now? It may be hard for you to see, but I am your mother. There's nothing a mother loves more than to see her child happy. So won't you do your poor old lady some good and smile for mommy? <gasps> the dead! She freaking killed him? Come on, dad, wake up! Wake up! My friend needs help! Mm, Rio? Is it morning already? Could have sworn. Rio! What is this? You you weren't supposed to. I know, I know, I wasn't supposed to go out at night. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about it. But my friend, he's in trouble and he needs help. If we don't hurry, she might... No. What? I took care of it. No, she can't hurt anyone anymore. But if it's not too much to ask, I do, I do need help. What did, he do, what did she do? Oh! <gasps> oh my god!
gosh, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. She ripped his mouth open. With a little something else. He's still bleeding. Did they sew his mouth? Ooh. And the fireworks are still going, so no magic was used. How about that? Oh, they did sew his mouth. He looks better. Oh, and he has crow hands, too. I didn't realize that. <laughs> see, look at that. He's smiling. What are you smiling about? Happy to see the fireworks? Or happy we managed to survive last night with our asses still intact? <laughs> All my friends may have moms, but none of them have a big brother like I do. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> yeah, we're brothers. I don't really think I can deny that at this point. I'm sure anyone can see the family resemblance. I mean, look at us. We got the same smile, don't we? <laughs> that's cute! Oh, a smile to match my own! That's so much better than I got, and here I am getting the both garbage endings. Oh, this person's so freaking good at their games. Gosh, is there another one? I need another one in my life. Oh, look at that. That's cool. This one is definitely my favorite out of the two, for sure. Oh, that's great. 